Today's subject is cross multiplication and conversions. We discussed in our previous assignment on how to save this and use Windows Paint for your assignment. If you do continue to use Windows Paint or another online free option, make sure that you can save it in a JPEG format. You'll also want to check your sizing. You can also write this out on a piece of paper, scan and upload it. So in cross multiplication we have a formula A over B equals C over D. And cross multiplication is exactly what it implies. We're going to multiply across. In this case it's going to be like an X. So we'll have A times D and we'll also have B times C. So here you can see we have the red area, er, arrow for A times D and the green arrow for B times C. So when I write it out it's going to look like this. These parentheses mean multiplication. You can also write it without the parentheses and this still implies A times D equals B times C. So we're going to do an example, and up here you can see I've rewritten everything so you can reference it. How many pounds are in 50 kilograms? So we're first going to want to write that out. What is it asking us? So it's saying how many pounds, so we don't know how many pounds, so we're going to use the variable x. That's our unknown. Rn, that implies equals 50 kilograms. Our conversion factor is 2.2 .2 pounds equals 1 kilogram. That is located in your book. So what we're going to do is we're going to set what we know equal to what we don't know. So we know 2.2 .2 pounds equals 1 kilogram. So that's right here. And we don't know how many pounds is in 50 kilograms. It's very, very important that when you set this up, if pounds is on the top, on the right it must be on the top on the left. So here you can see I have 50 pounds, I'm sorry, 2.2 .2 pounds here, x pounds here, 1 kilogram here, 50 kilograms here. So we're going to take our original formulas up here. And here I've written it again where I have 2.2 .2 pounds over 1 kilogram equals x pounds over 50 kilograms. And you can see I've drawn the red and the green arrows. So using this formula Right here, you can see that A equals 2.2 .2 pounds, B equals 1 kilogram, C equals X pounds, and D equals 50 kilograms. So now we're going to do the multiplying. As you can see, I just brought the information over. So we have 2.2 .2 pounds times 50 kilograms equals 1 kilogram times X pounds. So since pounds is on both sides, they will cross out. So you can see we've crossed them out there. And the same thing is for kilograms. So now I'm going to rewrite that without the pounds and without the kilograms. So we have 2.2 .2 times 50 equals 1 times x. So 2.2 .2 times 50 is 110, and 1 times x is 1x, which is also x. So basically we have just said that 50 kilograms equals 110 pounds. So now it's your turn. Your homework is going to be answer the two questions. Again, make sure you do them the correct way and upload them and you must show your work. So how many teaspoons are in five, excuse me, how many tablespoons are in 15 teaspoons and how many liters are in 2,000 milliliters? Your conversion factors can be found in your book.